check here. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, yeah, hello. The question is, can you hear us? Someone here? Let's wait for a minute. And yeah, uh, we'll start in a second, but that will be the last Meet the Designer uh, throughout this SNR spiel. Okay, thank, thank you, uh, Jacek, for that. So yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm Luke from Ready Games, and I'm joined today by... I'm Michael, an illustrator of... one of the illustrator, illustrators from uh, Ready Games. And yeah, today uh, at our Meet the Designer uh, blog about illustration, we'll talk about uh, about illustrations, how, the, do they came, how do they come to life. Uh, we will make one live uh, with all of you. And yeah, so let's start. Michal, what uh, you can talk about? I will show you a process how I uh, make an illustration from the first step uh, maybe to the last. I will try to make my best and make as quick as possible. Okay. And I will talk about how we cooperate with uh, others uh, in our uh, in our team to yeah. develop uh, illustration and uh, make a good style for our game because we try to develop uh, individual Oh, sorry. Individual uh, kind of the illustration for a uh, pen and red fan. Uh, so yeah, we was uh, s we have small technical issues. So in the meantime, uh, w what was which illustration ill illustrations in the game uh, did you make? Uh, what are uh, the ones that you that you were creating throughout the whole process of uh, the? I made a. Uh, all illustration for the board, those uh, I do not talk to. Okay. Most illustration on the board and a uh, lot of items uh, in the game from the uh, shop. Oh yeah, uh, we can show you some, uh, some of those. We have uh, fi finalized uh, tiles uh, right here. Oh yeah, and uh, Michal did all the other illustrations for those yeah then there, there are uh, two kinds of illustration one is a normal side of the london second is a hellish side okay so uh, start your stream from your ipad because michael will be uh, drawing on his ipad uh, oh yeah right here and yeah I'm trying to set up everything properly. Because uh, the first step of making illustration, I work on my iPad on Procreate. Then I uh, take this illustration to the other programs to make a final polish. Uh, and yeah, why do we choose uh, the Procreate to make all the line arts and the basis of the illustrations? Uh, because it's the best uh, program to uh, paint on the tablet. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, in the first step of the making illustration, I always try to make a mood board when where I uh, find some resources how to uh, make the best. Wait a minute. Uh, best feeling of the scenario where the illustration will be or the items. Uh, example, uh, we uh, our game is in a Victorian London of the steampunk of version, and I try to find as many as I can uh, resources from uh, pictures and other things from Victorian era, and some other inspiration from a steampunk kind of game. Okay, so yeah, let's begin. Uh, what are <coughs> what you will be uh, what will you will be illustrating? Today. Uh, today I will uh, illustrate an item uh, related to our uh, event from the game. If you play a Tabletopia, uh, there is an event with Joseph Conrad where he finds a lever of uh, darkness. And uh, there is uh, the word that he will 
go back to Congo to find a Heart of Darkness. And I will illustrate it for you today. Okay, so I believe we can begin. I will... Uh, okay, at the first, uh, I before the streaming, I made some uh, mood board uh, with a kind of hearts and items from the... Uh, of the steampunk uh, era or yeah, genre, uh, I would say, because it's genre. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and my vision is that I will make a, some kind of container where it will be a, a heart, but uh, I need to think and I will uh, draw the some kind of versions of that heart because I want to make a, one kind of, some kind of the demon heart. Uh, the darkness, some of the inhuman heart. Okay, it sounds cool for me. Uh, I believe our uh, viewers will be pleased too. So yeah, you can start start your process. Uh, Michal will be talking. Uh, we make some talking about how he works and and yeah. Uh, In the meantime, I will show you uh, some of the things. So I will be making the uh, the voice space a uh, field uh, in the times when uh, Miha will have to focus a little bit more. First I will make some rough sketches. How uh, could I make those containers and the heart, how it could like, uh, like be. And uh, then I will make a final line art. Uh, and the last step I think it will be making a color and some light. Uh, okay, at the first I will try to think uh, what will be a perspective, how we will look like, look to this object and where could be this heart. Uh, and good idea is to talk about uh, cooperate, cooperation with other peoples because I'm the uh, one illustrators from uh, three of us because there is a uh, Anan and uh, Meg. Yeah, I will actually I can show you some of uh, some of the results of this cooperation because yeah we wanted to ha we have three illustrators as Mihat Mihal said and we wanted to have a coherent uh, style so uh, they created a, a way of making uh, of making the illustrations in a, in in four steps basically. So all of them looks uh, like they were drawn by a singular illustrator. And yeah, for example, here uh, you can see a illustration for uh, one of the tiles that we have uh, in our game. Michal, could you tell me uh, what was the building here? It was uh, St. Peter uh, Church in uh, London, I believe. It's one of the most uh, known uh, buildings in the London because our Penny Dread Fund is in London and we need to make some uh, buildings that is uh, familiar to the people who uh, were in London. Uh, yeah, and people who, who read about it or yeah. they are interested in uh, tourism or history, yeah. And as you can see on the, um, as you can see on the uh, uh, presentation uh, up there, in the right corner, uh, there are four steps uh, before we finish. Uh, we are there are four steps to make a finished illustration. The first one uh, is the line art. Uh, Miha, basically in in this uh, in this scenario, in, uh, when we're talking about tiles, Miha made uh, the first three steps. So he made the line art, uh, made, then he uh, painted the image in grayscale, yes? Yes, because it's uh, good to uh, separate your uh, shadows and the lights okay. using the grayscale. And then I use a, a gradient map on the different program to make a base color and then I'm making a, a little bit of light and oh. uh, uh, back scenes or uh, others uh, details. Okay, I see. Uh, you uh, and and then yeah, and, and you can see the third the third image and is with all those gradient maps and some colors. And then there's a final step in our uh, 
creative process and our one of our illustra illustrators and uh, she she makes the illustrations look uh, in a penny dread fun way and you can see that uh, and you can see that she adds a little the finishing touches to the color and yeah that's how uh, that's how the tiles are ma made uh, for example here for example uh, you can see a uh, rough sketches from our illustration Mac and yeah th those were two concepts of the f uh, of the ferry in our game and at, and yeah and on the right you have the finished uh, illustration with all of those uh, all of those penny red fun style colors and brushes it's kind of a pastelic colors with a little bit of cartoon style yeah, yeah. and yeah how is going to how is going uh, Michal? how are uh, how are the sketches i'm thinking how to de develop the container and how uh, will be this hard inside of this do oh. i will make a uh, one round uh, window in this container mm -hmm. or yeah. uh, it will be i don't know some kind of glass around oh i see i see that you put a little a little bit steampunk touches to it already. I can see the uh, the thermometer or something in this one container, for example. Yeah, because uh, steampunk is. It's all about I, the steam, I yeah? see the steampunk. That uh, yeah, of course you need to, to have a steam because a steam is a main uh, energy of the steampunk era. But uh, there should be always a, some kind of pipes with a copper some kinds of uh, clocks to measure the steam or uh, I don't know how, how other things work because I only uh, see an items I try to understand them <clears throat> and of course uh, metal things a lot of copper a lot of uh, steel or iron and uh, yellow colors a uh, little bit maybe of uh, red okay because it will be uh, a container solid because it uh, will uh, hold a uh, heart of darkness yeah so it uh, really need to be because it, it can be a, pan uh, a little bit like the uh, the little pandora so yeah uh, in the meantime i will show you uh, one of the michael's uh, steampunk creations for this game uh, it's an item uh, because yeah me me how uh, Michael also drew some of the items in the game and uh, here you can see uh, a monocle a steampunk one yeah and uh, as previous as, as, uh, as it was created the same way that all the tiles are made so first we have a line art uh, then uh, then did you use a grayscale uh, with those items uh, yes, but there is oh, yeah, no but there is no on the uh, on the picture sadly, but yeah, then you have a a rough uh, a rough a rough simple color, and then we have the uh, version with all those effects. Final polish. Yeah, the final polish is there, and you can see we can also see the finished illustration on a card, uh, because monocle is an item that you can buy in a shop in Penny Dread Fun. And as you can see, it gives uh, a lot of dam a lot of damages. Uh, can you tell us something about the inspiration for this monocle? Because it looks, yeah, it's steampunk, and it <coughs> looks like some kind of uh, I don't know uh, uh, aiming device. Yeah, but uh, because uh, normal monocle is uh, some kind of uh, piece of glass around the uh, ring. Yeah, yeah, it's and basically glasses with one glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I try to make something interesting uh, with a correlation of the Penny Dread Fun and the illustration of uh, characters from uh, for uh, sorry, uh, which one make our uh, girls, other illustrators. And I try to find some uh, more interesting things and I research a little bit and uh, I thought that it would be a good idea if I will make some kind of 
aiming device like uh, Lucas uh, thought with uh, when you uh, I don't know how it's taught in English this uh, thing to look like to look uh, through them uh, to see in the farthest distance yeah I know what what you have in mind but I'm not really sure how it's called I will, I will check it really uh, quick most people maybe understand what I want to talk yeah, I, I, to I say. So, yeah. uh, and uh, when I look on the uh, photos of this uh, uh, device, I thought it was a good idea to make uh, one of these in the shortest ver version for the eye. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, the device that he was talking about is binocular binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> It's a funny because this is a monocle and, it, and the binoculars are two oculars and this is one ocular. So it should be monocular, I guess. Mm. Yeah, monocular. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Jacek and in our live chat at YouTube uh, spotted the new background for the cards. Uh, yes, as we said multiple times uh, throughout the spiel and to our, all our players on Tabletopia, yeah? Uh, the version that we are showing is uh, a cardboard prototype, so the cards there weren't final. And there are some small changes, changes and adjustments in the, in, the, uh, in the current version of Penny Red Fan. And this is one of them, so you can see we added a darker background, more, yeah, it's like a more ghostly, gothic one. And uh, for the contrast, I will show you some backgrounds from the, uh, the prototype. So, uh, as you can see, in a, we will see in a minute, oh, here we are again. Uh, you can see the, the old ones were a little bit more colorful and, uh, yeah, and they have the comic comic style into them and we decided that we wanted some, something darker more evil <laughs> yeah in you know, some way okay so i see we're basically uh, at first i think how uh, the heart of darkness will look like and uh, if you have any suge suggestion please uh, post it because yeah, you can put it in a Discord or in our YouTube chat if you want to. If there is a more heads to thinking, there is a better idea because <laughs> yeah. I could sometimes uh, do not see a good idea. <laughs> because only the uh, most advanced uh, artists could uh, do something without uh, searching and insp inspiration. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, as you can see, Michal is working hard, it's l already looking kind of evil to me, to be honest. Are those some kind of horns? Or yeah, some kind of uh, bones, horns. Of course, uh, the final uh, polish, would, uh, the fa when I uh, make a color, it would be some little bit darker yeah, and yeah. Uh, evil, of course. Because we rem remember that uh, always uh, color is a good uh, way to show the um, the feeling of the item. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, I will back to the topic of the uh, of the creative process uh, because we have some more uh, some more uh, insider thingies for you. So you can uh, wait. I need to change the scene. Oh. Uh, wait a second, because I will wait. Yeah, transmission working. No. Oh, it lagged out. I believe. Yeah, the, we have a little bit problem with our uh, mm, is streaming your, problem. Yeah, is your connection? Is your Wi-Fi working properly? I think yes. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Uh, Okay, we we'll try to figure out figure out all those, and in the meantime, uh, just restart the yeah, the transmission. In the meantime, uh, I will show you some some of the things. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, 
Uh, you probably remember our cardboard shortcut. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't seen the game, this is your first uh, experience with Penny Dreadfun. Uh, we use something like this as a uh, as a shortcut to make to move quicker around the map. And then you can see there is like a, oh you can see because I seen this. Oh okay now now you will be able to see those are the short cardboard shortcuts. Yeah, and they are basically a way to move quickly around the map. And yeah, uh, they were. Uh, cr were created in the same way that uh, those uh, tiles and uh, items are. Uh, wait, can you restart? Uh, uh, can you restart the uh, transmission? Yeah, the transmission. I will disconnect from this one, and we will we come to it uh, in a second. Uh, the button uh, start transmission. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wait, we need to connect first, I believe. Wait, it should ask you to let me in. No, it didn't. Wait, Wait a second, I will okay. shut down the program. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience to everyone. Uh, here is an ID. Okay, yeah, I am connecting. Yes. Okay, we're back again. You need to start the transmission. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, that's like the technology, you know. <laughs> it can be a little bit rough. Okay, we'll be back in in a second. Just need to. Okay, we're back in. <laughs> As you can see. So yeah, uh, the heart is. Getting more and more evil. Oh, I think okay. it's starting to be quite interesting. Yeah, it it's lo it's, it looks really cool. I uh, for me at least. And yeah, uh, so I promise you that we'll show you some more of the, the behind the scene scenes work. And uh, of course, we'll if you play a uh, uh, Penny Dreadfun on the uh, Tabletopia. Look on the illustrate illustrations because uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, fun illustrations, inst interesting illustrations, and very colorful style. Yeah, yeah, you can look it up. And yeah, we highly recommend to hop on our Discord or under and play on Tabletopia with us. And yeah, so as I said, uh, we have some more of the sneak peeks. And here you can see the cardboard shortcut. The first one, the first uh, image is the cutout. So Michal were given a cutout from me because, uh, yeah, that's that's all because I'm a graphic designer at Ready Games, and I, yeah, I had to make the cutout so Michael would know uh, how much space he needs to fill and what are the proportions of the images, etc. And then he made the line art for the... Because uh, the game is not uh, developed uh, by separate uh, people. We are the team and we are working yeah. in the team. Yeah, we, we all work together and we all uh, meet each other works because, and we help ourselves in the process. So, yeah. And as you can see, those are the line arts that, that, fin that uh, and they went on the... Finally, they went on the cutoff, so have the cardboard models and here uh, you can see the uh, colored versions of the shortcuts this one is a roof shortcut because we have two of them and then and then they finally get uh, put on a cardboard with all the finishing touches and color and you can see that one here yeah so and the final uh, that's the final collaboration of uh, two illustrators and one graphic designer, as you can see, this small object. Of course, in the full version of the game, uh, those uh, boards will be a lot of... Uh, how much there will be? 24? 
Uh, it will the basic uh, the basic version of the game that we are uh, going to launch on the kickstarter. We have fifteen of them, oh. and there is possibility of more, but uh, all the yeah, but that will be uh, shown to you later at the Kickstarter campaign, because there are uh, there yeah, there are uh, there are some really cool uh, tiles for the map. For example, we have we have something that is called uh, the we have some special kind of tiles, as you can see, for example, here, those... Uh, for the contrary, here's a normal uh, normal tile with three locations. And those are uh, some... Those are the lesser known or, or not that uh, important locations, like west and houses, and so, or so abandoned warehouses. Yeah, those are. And we have a special tiles for, for the... Uh, well-known monuments in the game, for example, this is Bank of England. And as you can see, this is a hell, uh, hellish version of Bank of England. And yeah, there will be 15 of those in the base game, and we hope that, hope that we'll be able to make oh. more of them throughout the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, what happened? We have a problem. It's shut, shut down. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Because uh, on the iPad with, we have a little problem with streaming. We don't know why. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, what we can do is eventually we can try to point the camera at the iPad, but I don't know if it will be uh, if it will be a sufficient way of showing this. And the funny part is that we tested the setup <laughs> before uh, the stream it, it worked. So I have no clue why it's uh, not working right now. And yeah, we'll just reconnect the devices. And we'll try again. And we'll be trying till we end the stream. <laughs> of course, the final version of this uh, illustration will be posted on our social media. Yeah, yeah, of course. And we'll put a link. Uh, somewhere uh, in here. Okay, uh, let me see if the let me see if the uh, the, tr the stream from the iPad started working. It seems like it's still frozen for some weird. No, time. I'm drawing. Yeah, yeah, I know because but on the stream is <laughs> something is something is uh, still frozen. I will need a second and I will... Okay, it's, it's working again. So let's hope it won't crash itself. Anymore. And yeah. So right now you're working in a container, yes? Yes, and I'm thinking how to container look like. Maybe... Need to. There's one of, uh, idea that container will be some kind of glass, medical glass. Okay, uh, so like all those uh, human organs in the horror movies, put in yeah. the jars, etc. Yeah, yeah, that's spooky, actually. <laughs> because it need to hold darkness inside of this. Oh yeah. Do you want to put some? I don't know. Uh, rings to hold the whole thing. We'll duplicate this layer. Hmm. Maybe like this. Mm -hmm. And we will see what's happen when I add some more detailed things. Okay, do, 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 do you plan on adding some... Uh, Oh, I see that you're already putting some uh, steampunk valves, etc. Et et I was gonna ask about those. But yeah, I see you already incorporated those into the some, illustration. Some uh, handle, maybe? How exactly do you want to transport the Heart of Darkness? I don't even know if you want to transport it at all. I would bury it deep down the ground and never touch it again, to be honest. But maybe it's some kind of... Uh... Artifact for oh, yeah. occultists. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, because in Penny Dread Fun we have some uh, uh, occultists and uh, I don't know shamans. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we have we just re we just revealed. We ju it may be not reveal. Uh, we sneak peeked uh, our new character, one of the uh, characters, and she and she is Kate Fox, and she's a medium. Uh, she was a medium back then in the Victorian England, and in our game she is one too, obviously. And she, yeah, and she uses occultism, occultism as her main resource. And you can check her out on our Discord server. Uh, there is a link in our in the description of the stream. So if you want to uh, to see our interpretation of Kate Fox, you can just go there and uh, and check it out. And yeah, if you uh, if any of you has a question or an idea what to incorporate into the uh, uh, illustration, just f feel free to uh, to talk to us on the live chat or at our Discord server. Maybe some uh, mark of Tulu. Oh yeah, maybe. Why not? Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm starting to like this uh, even more. Now it's only a rough sketch and I do not uh, try to make it very detailed. Yeah. I want to see how those uh, items <coughs> correlate with each other. Okay, I see. Uh, I, so, uh, as an illustrator, uh, how does uh, your work look like at the daily ba basis? Uh, with whom do you work, or how do you uh, how do, how do you uh, link your work with others, and yeah, how it is to be an illustrator in a uh, uh, game dev company? Mostly, I ask a game designer how he see uh, every item and every illustration, uh, because uh, I need to. Uh, fit to this uh, I don't know how to say uh, wait a second uh, uh, to the style okay. because uh, every game uh, need to have his own unique style to be interesting for a uh, bias yeah right? yeah because so th who... this what we talked about earlier yeah the, yeah. the, the, the whole creative process of making those illustrations in collaborations with two other people and even more because yeah, you also work with game designers and yeah, and a graphic designer. Basically, yeah, with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. And uh, how it looks like? How do you uh, know what you have to draw? The game design. What the game designer tells you? Uh, how it? How it? How do those the dynamic works out? Uh, make me a uh, brief with. Uh, and I deal with his idea, some kind of inspiration, and I uh, I start to develop this. Okay, I see. In my own way, because I search additional inspiration, uh, additional uh, pictures, colors, and uh, try to uh, play with a light. If you could show me uh, the London with uh, yeah this one. I will show, I will put it on the screen in a uh, second. Okay, oh, uh, I will go. tell you a little bit about uh, this illustration, how I developed it. It was one of the first illustrations uh, of the uh, location in Penny. Uh, I uh, support myself uh, with uh, using uh, 3D programs. Maybe oh. it's not uh, seen here. But uh, illustration at the first steps was uh, made it in a 3D program to oh. make a whole scene and make a good perspective with a, a very simple objects. Mm -hmm. And then I start develop a line art and the detail. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most important thing, the Big Bang. <laughs> and when I... Uh, Make uh, made a uh, rough sketch with uh, some grayscale. Mm -hmm. I start to uh, a little bit support this illustration with uh, uh, detailed things like lamps, uh, pipes, and uh, it's not sh uh, seen here, but there is a steampunk uh, car. 
Oh yeah, yeah. On it's the street. Sadly, it's <coughs> cut out. Uh, maybe I can find a tile with it in the meantime. Uh, and one more thing uh, in this illustration. Very important is light. How it will uh, take a viewer to the scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, some kinds of a little bit scenes of uh, dark and uh, very light places. Oh. And make an uh, uh, interesting climate for a viewer. I believe I will be able to show maybe the, the full illustration uh, in a minute. Yeah, because why not do uh, a live stream so live things are gonna happen. I will, uh, yeah, I will show you in a second. Right now, let's go back to the Michael's it's, newest drawing. It's hard to focus on the illustration when I need to talk. <laughs> how yeah. to, how I make it. Yeah, I get you. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, don't worry. We have a problem again with our drawing. Oh, okay, so. Uh, I'm a little concerned for this because pro it's probably not gonna work the way we want it to. Uh, so maybe we will change the, uh, the whole convention a little bit. And yeah, maybe uh, maybe you will draw, we will talk, yeah, okay. and we'll be showing some resources. Yeah, some results, some the pr progress in some uh, in some steps. Yeah, it's it's a good idea. And yeah, uh, Jacek uh, said that uh, he's asking what happened to the voice because we sound like some crazy lizards with this bass voice. Uh, so yeah, we might be repti reptilians, you know, and maybe the maybe. microphone is, is, is yeah, taking our masks off. And, and maybe there is an internet problem, I don't know. No, I don't know, we are excellent. I, I think that the microphone exposed us as a reptilians. <laughs> so yeah, we're kind of screwed there. But yeah, okay, so I will change the scene so we don't see the freeze, yeah, the freeze illustration. Yeah, sorry for that. Yeah, nothing you can do if, if the technology doesn't wa want to work with you. I thought that the uh, iPad will not have a problem with streaming, but uh, there are yeah, I mean, it didn't have a problem like one and a half hour before, so why was it having a problem right now? I don't know. But yeah, what are we gonna do? Uh, so yeah, uh, we talked about uh, working with uh, design, uh, game and graphic designers and uh, two other illustrators. We talked a little bit about your uh, creative process. And can you, s what can you say about the the style and the colors in Penny Fun because you took a little. You said that the, there's some pastel colors, there are some uh, like comic like uh, style illustrations in the items, especially. Yeah, uh, um, make uh, our uh, second illustration illustrators uh, develop for me uh, the color palette. Uh, and I will show you yeah, when I uh, end this illustration. Uh, she gives it to me to make the illustration on s for the same uh, kind of tones. Oh, okay. Because uh, when I use it, I uh, try to make... Uh, every character has his own uh, unique color palette. And when I mm, made an illustration, example item, uh, uh, for example, uh, Alice from Wonderland, I use the color palette for uh, Alice uh, from the Wonderland. Okay. So basically, uh, each character has uh, its own palette, so all the items and cards associated with the character gets the same palette as well, yes? Yes. Okay, I see. And uh, you can... Uh, you will feel which one belongs to the... It's not... In the game, not, uh, it's not belong because everyone can buy an item, but uh, they are uh, related. Okay. Like a jetpacks for uh, <laughs> Marie or uh, our 
uh, the saber for uh, Jack the Reaper. Oh, I see. Uh, so, uh, give me a second. I want to show you some more, uh, some more things from the game, some more finished illustrations, if you don't mind. Uh, and I just need a second to... Uh, just need a second. A lot of those illustrations are on tabletop, yeah. Yeah, that's true. If you will have a little bit time to watch the cut and watch the bots, you can look uh, on the few of the few are they really awesome, and I I'm, I really like it. <laughs> okay, I will sh uh, for oh here uh, you can see uh, you can see two of our uh, enemies of the crown the one on the left is banshee it's a it's a boss uh it's a boss or a mini boss i'm not sure right now banshee i think uh, it was boss because on the yeah boss, boss rush yeah boss there. yeah but in boss rush ones there are also mini bosses huh. uh, yeah but that's not the case here because uh, I, wa I wanted to show you uh, the difference between uh, and between the the feeling of uh, the, the feeling of the monster. characters because one of the monsters uh, the one on the right is a noble woman killed by lightning and she's an ordinary enemy of the crowd uh, so she's like not the scariest thing in the penny dread fun those are quite uh, Quite e maybe not but easy to kill, but they are yeah, easier they to are kill. Easy to kill if you feel the uh, way how to fight. Oh, uh, because uh, but they can also bite you back, so of course it's not like uh, it's all fun games there. And yeah, what I want want to talk about is the diff. You can see the difference uh, in those characters that the one one that is only a a normal uh, enemy of the crown. She's not that intimidating, she's more like a weirdly spooky... Yeah, I know you can see us on the camera, on the scene, yeah, on the presentation, but yeah, that's how we need to roll for a, a minute, or two, or maybe five, I don't know, I will try to fix it as soon as possible. And yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, she is uh, an ordinary enemy crown, and yeah, you can uh, basically tell that the second one, the uh, mini boss or boss one, is more intimidating. She seems uh, scarier and stronger. Stronger, of yeah. course. Yeah, you can tell at the glance, basically. Um, yeah, I will. In a second, we'll go. Maybe let's try. Let's try to uh, show some progress in the illustration. Yeah, of course. Uh, I will. We we'll try to connect each other uh, again. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. <coughs> One, two, three. I need to <clears throat> make some uh, weak adjustments. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, one second. Here. Here. Okay. And now you can see the progress of the illustration. So what did you uh, do throughout some uh, those last minutes? Uh, made the medal with a face of uh, of Cthulhu. Yeah. Cthulhu. Yes. I see. Something. It started to look like a like a heavy uh, steampunk tank. You know, yeah, like yes. those with water, or a little bit like a um, like a diving suit, maybe even with this Cthulhu. It right now seems like a really really steampunkish thing. And yeah, it's getting, getting the sh it's getting... Uh, Get this yeah. feeling that it's yeah. uh, forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, it's... Um, maybe I will make a round window 
because okay. I don't know. Wait a second, I will duplicate it. Duplicate that one. And we will see the result. Yeah, so let's uh, let's look at the at your work for a little bit. Oh so, yeah, so we're trying to make the window right now. Maybe it will be more interesting. Yeah, let's uh, let's, let's try it. Uh, uh, the the app you're using Procreate, yeah, if I yes, was mistaken. Yes. It seems cool that you know the modern technology of uh, illust to make illustrations is actually uh, really cool because you have a feeling of real drawing uh, when you use the pen. Oh, I see. And uh, the tablet is really accurate. Oh. Of course. Uh, the last steps of the painting I take to the uh, PC version of the programs mm -hmm. and there I can make a lot more interesting things. Oh, I see. And yeah. With this. We need to look on the inspirations, how it could look like, maybe some... Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's try to time to make some details. Yeah, you can try. Why not? <laughs> With a pipes. If anyone is on the channel uh, and you have any ideas what I could add to the illustration, please uh, pause it. Yeah, don't be shy. Yeah. I will try to um, make your ideas on the illustration. Okay, so maybe I will give an idea yeah, to incorporate. Okay. And it will be a hard, hard one. Try in uh, some way to incorporate a unicorn in this. In this. You know, don't have to draw the whole unicorn or yeah, yeah, something. I understand. Just try to do something that will say, oh, there was a unicorn or so. Yeah, so. Unicorn poop? <laughs> if you want <laughs> to, so you can go with unicorn poop. I don't. It's not that I don't mind because yeah, uh, that's not so. Ah, okay. Uh, let's drop this. Uh, let's drop this uh, topic of yeah of the poop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, scene joke. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, I will jump back to our presentation, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, the iPad is still working, so yeah, it's working. Stream is working. Uh, oh, I will show you. Uh, me, Michael will do his thing in the background, and yeah, I will show you uh, the the minis. Uh, our minis, as you can see, were sculpted on the uh, on the base of two D illustrations, so they are uh, an. Uh, Interpre the sculptures interpretations of the uh, characters from the game. As you can see here, we have Alice of Wonderland with her uh, mighty v cricket. Uh, yeah, croquet. I'm not sure how this part is called. I didn't check it throughout the <laughs> spiel because we talked about it with Jacek on the first stream, uh, the first playthrough. We were like, yeah, this is Ali, and he, she has a bat, a cricket, a cricket, something cricket, like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And yeah, as you can see, as you can see, the mini is highly detailed. It's made, uh, yeah, with painting in mind. And yeah, yeah. I believe that the minis, they, they, tr uh, the sculpture try to replicate a little bit comic style of the characters. So the miniatures are not uh, generic fantasy ones they are they are not hyper realistic uh, or something they are in a the penetrator one has its own style and you can see the uh, the style is really is incorporated into the minis too and it looks really cool oh yeah here you can see the boss miniature uh, this is the, the biggest one of the 
ghost miniatures uh, that we have in the box. Uh, in the previous playthroughs, uh, you were able to see the you were able to see the uh, the miniatures of the standard enemies of the crown. And minibus. And minibus. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. Uh, basically, that was. This is the third, uh, the biggest and scariest of of all of them. Yeah, and as you can see, oh, now you can see us and you can see the presentation. So, I managed to do it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, as you can see, the mini boss. Uh, we had to resign. Uh, on we couldn't make the the slimy goo on his uh, on his uh, not horns. Those are like some, you know, how do you call uh, the mask? Octopus. Uh, yes. uh, octopus is a creature, but uh, yeah, but it got you know it got the, all those hmm. weird uh, some kind of alien uh, things. How do you call it? I mean, I have, <laughs> I have like a, a blank space in my head. Uh, how do you say it? I don't remember. But I need to. Uh, oh, come on, tentacles. Tentacle, yeah. Of okay, course. so yeah, those are the tentacles. Uh, and some of them has the slimy glue, as you can see on his, uh, on his uh, fighters. There's a go to. We had to resign uh, sadly because uh, from them because sadly it didn't look uh, well on a, a sculpt, but he still looks really cool and intimidating. So yeah, we're really happy with him. Uh, here is the ghost of the Emily Dickinson, and as you probably know already, she's a weird ghost siren hybrid. That our designer thought of, and yeah, if, I think it's pretty. It's, it's, yeah, she looks pretty cool, and the sculpture made a really great job with all those uh, gooey things. And we have a very talented sculpture. Again? A talented uh, designer who made this sculpture. We're talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the guy who make uh, who who's making those uh, sculptures is. He's well known in Poland, from where we are from. He made one kickstarted game called uh, the sculpt sculpts for one kickstarted game. Uh, you may know it. It was the Titans, I believe. Yeah, Titans. And yeah, he, the guy is really great, and he yeah, and he was pleased to do some uh, non hyper realistic fig miniatures for once. So he's as stoked as we are about this project. Uh, oh, here is Jack the Reaper. And yeah, as you can see, on the, uh, he's, he was made from um, on the basis of this illustration. And the, as you can see, yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, some details are uh, changed because you can't, uh, you can't mold uh, uh, you can it's mold. hard to apply uh, some uh, some details, and details some yeah. super small things into a miniature because a miniatures are are kind of small, so they so some some and details. You need to print, print yeah, them, you, some kind of. Yeah, you need to manufacture them, and uh, some of the details won't just be visible, and even they can look ugly on a. Uh, on a finished um, yes. miniature, so uh, the sculpture needs to, uh, to work with those a little bit. And hold some specifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, as we said, the guy is really good. So as you can see, uh, Jack the Ripper looks, yeah, looks cool too. And here we have Marie Skudowska Kiri. She's standing in some poisonous, uh, hemi uh, cloud. Uh, that's yeah, that's really cool too. As you can see, the sculpt, uh, yeah, the sculpt reflect that, and she got even some textured, uh, textured uh, piece of cloth on her, which uh, on the original illustration had a uh, she had uh, uh, some bubbles on it, some yeah, it was a texture, and basically the sculpture uh, thought that it would be cool if the if those were. Uh, 
yeah, if those were uh, free texture so here of the flames yes yeah i'm talking about the piece of cloth that is above the above the flames ah yeah yeah you can see the uh, this those are uh, yeah the 3d details uh, the texture the, the pattern of the yeah, texture. yeah the pattern is uh, made yeah uh, i think it's a quite good technique because uh, those are uh, places where uh, nothing's uh, happen and yeah, yeah. he got a very uh, he get a very good idea to make with this space something something interesting yeah, yeah because you know uh, when you work with an illustration uh, you can play with colors uh, patterns you don't have to uh, you have uh, some more of the uh, some more tools to make something interesting even if it's a boring uh, piece of cloth uh, if it's i don't know uh, some uh, some some boring detail like you know a uh, button for example and in uh, and in those because our limits is our imagination yeah and but in uh, in the miniatures you need to push it a little bit because you need to make them uh, look interesting even if they are not painted yeah because yes. you know uh, you can paint your miniatures but they come un uh, in with the box they come unpainted and yeah they need to look cool even if someone is not even won't even try to paint them so yeah that's the, uh, that's the difficult part of it because you can see uh, for example at, uh, when we look at Alice uh, you can see that uh, the the uh, the layers of the of her skirt uh, are colored in a different uh, in a different colors yeah they're colored different in a different way and it gives the uh, picture some some more life it's it's more interesting because of those colors and on a sculpt uh, there won't be any yeah so in this uh, picture and the sculpt I like the most this uh, skirt yes. This uh, very dynamic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, if you look at this, you can feel that the miniature is alive and it's not static. So she she's like uh, tr trying to intimidate someone with a club, or uh, she's about to smack someone f to the head. Yeah, using this this club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. So let's back to the. Michael's art because a lot of things changed along the way. Yeah, I think <laughs> I will start to make a final uh, uh, line art because oh. it's look yeah, quite it looks quite interesting. Yeah, it looks really cool, I would say. Uh, you Maybe can do some, some more clocks somewhere. I will apply. But I think. I don't know. Which one is better? This uh, top top element of the container. It will be uh, round or uh, a cone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one do you, do you think? Wait, let me see. Here which one, one would be better? Ah, it's a tough decision, man, because I like both both of those and can only make one. Uh, but yeah, maybe let's go with the cone cone one with the with this one. This? Yeah, yeah, this, this, yeah. This, I think this it's, it will be a better idea. I mean, it's kind of yeah. The sharp uh, sharper edges are cool and yeah, you know, uh, more aggressive. Yeah, more aggressive and it's like oh yeah, that that thing looks scary. So so something sketchy is inside. I believe. If you look at the, uh, that's my feeling. Yeah, I when I look at the uh, the cone top, not not the round one. I'm like, yeah, something is something fishy is in there. So right now we want to make the final sketch, yes? Uh, yes, I will a uh, little bit change a perspective. Make it f uh, feeling that it stands some, somewhere. Oh, yeah. And I fit uh, it to canvas because uh, canva this canvas of uh, rectangle is uh, a space for uh, layout to your canvas. Oh yeah, yeah. As you can see probably here, the the canvas is basically the the purple uh, background on the card, and the item goes there. Yeah. 
that uh, when I develop, develop these items, those items can't be too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's really important because uh, when the item is too high, it will look, it will be, yeah, it will be really small and it will only cover a fraction of the uh, of the width. Yeah, uh, width of it will the, be two uh, big spaces yeah, on the yeah, left and the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yes. So, um, how has to keep in mind that it's still a, a illustration for a card, not a illustration that you will just put somewhere as a whole, yeah? Yeah, in the digital space. Yeah, yeah, for example. Uh, yeah, can you tell me, what's the uh, do you think different or work uh, in, in a different way when you work on a illustration f illustrations for some uh, objects in game, like for example the... Oh. Okay. We have an internet problem. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't think when... Yeah, the stream went down, but that's... Yeah, but that's not... Uh, we'll manage with it. We'll manage it in a, in a second. Uh, that, yeah, back to my question. I wanted to ask you if... Do you appro how do you approach the illustrations for the game elements? Because you are illustrator for... Yeah, for quite some time. You made a lot of illustrations in your life. And I'm interested interested if if you are working on a game piece, illustration yeah. for a game piece, like for example, card, card illustration, the tile illustration, do you approach them differently than a, for example, I don't know, some works in your portfolio? Uh, of course, because uh, the main thing is what the product will be, and I need to fit to the uh, brief from the designer, and I need to to make it in the proper style. Oh yeah. Of course, I as an illustrator, I try to uh, make my illustration in a different style: cartoon, realistic, uh, low poly. Some uh, I would I made some things in a 3D. Yeah. Try to be. Uh, I don't know how to tell this. Uh, you can tell me in Polish and I will, maybe um, I will, can help you. <laughs> uh, up, up, to up, to yeah, up to the time, up to date with the, with the style, so it's like... And uh, the thing that it's needed to uh, have a job in the game industry. Oh yeah. Because it's uh, very important. Uh, a few years ago, every illustrator, uh, for uh, example, for a game... Uh, for the game, could only uh, draw a things. Oh yeah. Now the illustrator need to know uh, about one to three three uh, D uh, programs. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we will have the setup working. working in a minute. Okay, then... Yeah, you can draw already. I will take care of the technical stuff. Now we need a, bit, a little bit of focus. Yeah, you, you need to, you need to uh, excuse us uh, because, yeah, I'm a graphic designer. He's an illustrator and it's our first time uh, operating on a YouTube stream. So, yeah, it's quite right for us. <laughs> yeah, and I first time uh, stream my uh, live working process and I'm a bit uh, scary. Okay, so uh, you mean you're stressed out yeah, bit, yeah, stress, yes, yes. Uh, I mean, imagine that you are talking to yourself or to me only. And we are like here uh, talking, talking some silly stuff. And yeah, I see that you, uh, yeah, I started the, uh, started the final sketch. Yeah, final line out. I mean, it's pretty cool that you draw some line and then do some cli clicky clicky things and it became a circle or, or a more straight line. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a kind of uh, advantage of uh, using an iPad. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's really cool. Holy, holy moly. <laughs> I'm impressed because uh, on the daily basis, I don't really see what what Michael do, what Michael is doing on his uh, his iPad. We, yeah, we sit uh, next to each other, each other, but yeah, I have other things to do, and I 
most of the time I see the finished uh, line arts or finished uh, or finished illustrations. I don't see the uh, that much of the process actually. She gi the yeah, he gives final me final. Uh and illustrations. Yeah, mostly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, mostly final illustrations. Sometimes he sh he's showing, so if he's stuck with something, he's showing the uh, multiple propos propositions, but those are all uh, rough sketches or the finished line arts, and then we make some adjustments and changes. But yeah, the process, I, I didn't really see the, so the process of uh, making something appropriate because I mostly work in Photoshop and yeah and uh, other Adobe stuff uh, of course uh, Procreate is a very good program but uh, those final things I when I make a, a base color I will take it to the Photoshop and uh, make some more advantages ad advanced advantage, advanced yeah. advanced life oh. because uh, mm, making an illustration as is a really uh, complicated process oh yeah and uh, like i said before only the most ex experienced illustrators could uh, start working about the, with the product without making a proper uh, Proper start. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, I will look through the things that we have to show. I think we went through oh, sadly all of those. Uh, so we need to. Uh, so we need to make a small talk. Small yeah, talk. make a small a small talk. I think. Uh, I think we. For how long we are alive? Because oh yeah, we're alive for like. Uh, one hour, I believe. So uh, we will maybe finish. M we, yeah. <laughs> you f maybe finish the line art, and that will be it for the stream, I believe, because yeah, the technical issues are not helping. But yeah, uh, Mike, Michael will finish the line art here live on the stream, and then he'll go and go to his uh, his uh, yeah computer and finish the and make some. And start to working on finishing this illustration, and we'll post it later on in the social media and under the in, in the YouTube comment under the uh, the stream because it will be uh, you will be able to watch it uh, from yeah uh, from our uh, spiel uh, spiel live live streams uh, playlist because we made out of those uh, throughout the day uh, yeah. Of, I tried to make it as quick as as I could, but uh, it was my first uh, live drawing, and uh, I don't worry. You made you make a great job. Process of illustration is uh, is a long uh, long time, long time uh, taker. I don't know how to. Use. Yeah, it takes a lot, a lot of time yeah. basically. Yeah, uh, you know. On the other hand, uh, just like in one hour you. You concepted the whole item, and now you are making the final sketch. So I think that's a that's a that's a great time, honestly. And yeah, on the other hand, uh, today we'll be ho holding a, a, a spiel goodbye stream. This is the uh, the second to last uh, live stream that we are making throughout this uh, spiel, and I uh, will talk a little bit about. Uh, how fun it was to be here with you guys on the uh, virtual uh, SN convention and we will talk about the future because yeah we I love to play with us oh yeah Michael uh, uh, with you so yeah, yeah Michael played uh, throughout the whole event with I don't know even how many people and he was talked about it yeah if you played on table of our tabletop yeah there's a big chance you played with him, <laughs> because yeah, he played a lot. I mean, like 20, 20 hours or something. Yes. Of of rough. Uh, it's only the playtime, yeah. The twenty hours of playtime alone. So. Yeah. Qu quite a lot, and 
uh, every time when I play with you, it was uh, very pleasant, pleasant to play. <laughs> because uh, all of you are uh, very great. And yeah, we in will... both games, of course. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we want to talk about uh, about all those uh, cool stuff that we that we did throughout the event, and we want to uh, show you some things that will happen in the future. Uh, we want to reveal some uh, reveal some things that we are working on right now, uh, but not really right now. But we want to uh, we started them because we are basically finished with uh, Penny Dread Fun. We need to launch the Kickstarter, and it be basically uh, it for the most of the team. And yeah, we started working on some, pro we have some other projects that we want to share with you and it will be all on the uh, Bye Bye Spiel stream, uh, which is scheduled, I believe, for uh, 8 p.m. 8 Something like that. Yeah, we rescheduled the, we scheduled the streams because uh, the Spiel is ending around 8 or 9 p.m. and we wanted to make our uh, stream in time so some people so the people will be uh, clicking through all the booths or something so yeah we wanted to make it a little bit earlier so yeah you can tune in to our uh, to our goodbye stream uh, later on today and yeah I can see that you are applying hot yeah to the, to the tank Yes, yeah. and I will make a, a liner for this tank, those Polish liners, Polish Yeah, actually there's uh, there's quite a lot done already, I think to the Cthulhu emblem is, is in there already. Uh, no. Don't worry, it happens sometime. Uh, and yeah, we'll, yeah, the, the tables on Tabletopia will be open throughout the day till like, yeah, till like, till the uh, ending, to the goodbye stream. Uh, and yeah. So if you uh, miss the opportunity to play with us, uh, you can uh, still do it. Uh, because yeah, the tables. We like you and we want to play with you. Sorry for the uh, for the keyboard sound, and um, yeah. Okay. So the, you're making the heart. Yeah, some I don't, I don't know how it's uh, uh, veins. Yeah. Ve veins, veins, yeah, of course. Yeah. Some veins, some uh, horns from the heart. I will try to uh, end it as quick as possible to post to you on the web. And I will show you a process band that because uh, Procreate can record your steps oh, yeah. till the end of the process of the file. So basically you can make a time lapse. For yeah, time lapse. For us. Yeah, that's cool actually. I'm interested in it as well, to be honest. This, uh, I like this idea because uh, when I start thinking what I will paint for you, I want to make something uh, re related to our games. Yeah, yeah. Our game, Penny. And I thought that if you play on the Tabletopia, some of you had a quest with Joseph Conrad and you will know uh, something about that. Yeah, that's a really cool touch, I believe, because, yeah. Uh... And li I like, personally, that flavor text on the card. Yeah, okay, so yeah, the the, uh, the closing stream will be uh, actually 7 p.m. Uh, I, I sleep there. <laughs> so yeah, uh, 7 p.m. here on our YouTube. So if you want to uh, join us there, feel free. And yeah, the Tabletopia tables are open. So if you want to uh, come and play with us, uh, yeah, just hop on our Discord and, and one of... Uh, our colleagues from work will guide you through our game and help you to, le to learn how to play it. 
uh, right now it won't be Michal, Michael because he is sitting right here with me but in an a hour or so there's a chance you will play with him yeah okay then uh, we we end yes I mean finish the finish the top cone and uh, we can say okay. that and we will make it, we'll show the final results of the stream right now and yeah that will be it for the for this stream but we'll keep you posted about we'll keep you yeah, posted about the illustration as a whole yeah, as you can see michael is uh, finishing the comb tank on the top i mean i already love this illustration to be honest Mike made a lot of uh, a lot of cool references in in his uh, in his work for the game. Uh, for example, he made a Tulu plushie. <laughs> yeah, love this uh, item. Plushies with a uh, uh, painting tools. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah it's for a it's an item card. It's a reward for a quest. I don't remember the, which one because there will be uh, over 50 of them. So, yeah, but it was really cool, Pushy. We will post it under the video too. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, fun and Polish. And, okay, and yeah, the handlebar, and after that, I think we're done with the. Yeah, Actually, getting the you can already see the uh, the shapes and everything, and you know the the basic concept is actually here. That's really cool, I would say. Oh yeah. Uh, and of course, it was a uh, pleasure to uh, draw for you. Yeah, it's always cool to... The experience for me, because it was uh, first time <laughs> that I uh, made something like that. And I was a little bit uh, stressed about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... And uh, it's pretty hard to uh, draw something and, uh, and talk, talk at the same, at the same time. time. Yeah. Uh, can you show us uh, the, uh, this, the rough sketch and, and this? Uh, this is that uh, what's look like now. Oh yeah. And rough sketch is here. Yeah, so it's... Uh, so yeah, you can see there is... Uh, there is some uh, differences between those. That, 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 that one. Yeah, the, as you can see, the. Yeah, it's. Because uh, the process, what I like to uh, make, it's first the rough sketch, then I make a line out, uh, this with a hard uh, one line, then I make a, a separate colors of the plate mm -hmm. inside of those uh, spaces. And then I make a uh, light on those spaces. Oh, I see. And it's uh, it will be great yeah. when I finish, finish this one. Yeah, okay, so it was a pleasure to host this, yeah, kind of speed painting, not really speed painting, the painting with audience. Yeah, it was cool to have you here, Michael. Yeah, thank you for... Thank you, and thanks. Yeah. And uh, thanks to all of you guys. Care. Remember to check out our uh, yeah our social media. You can still check our uh, Spiel Digital uh, virtual booth, and yeah, hop on our Discord server on our our tabletop game. Le com uh, comment play with us. You can read uh, if you're interested in a game and you are first first timer here on our on our channel. You can check out the board game geek uh, page of our game. There, there's a lot of uh, articles about the game mechanics, game art, and all the things. Uh, really, and yeah, as I said, and see you on Tabletopia. Yeah, so see you guys. Thank you for joining us again. 
and bye bye yeah bye bye i need to change that oh, oh.